Okay, so if you love spicy Thai food and you love fried rice, guys, this is the ultimate dish for you. Okay, so what we're doing today is combining two of the most ultimate Thai dishes, in my opinion, fried rice and Thai basil and chili stir fry. We're gonna put them together to make one explosive dish. Ah, oh, can't wait. Okay, so first of all, we are starting with chilies because you can't have pad kha bao, which is what it's called in Thai. You can't have a pad kha bao stir fry without some really hot chilies. So I'm using these bird's eye chilies. Now, whatever kind of really spicy chili you have in your area, that's the chili to use here. And I just wanna roughly chop these. And then some garlic as well. Just peel those. Okay, so they go into my mortar as well. And now whenever I'm making a paste with my mortar and pestle, or even if I'm doing it in a small handheld blender, I always add a little pinch of salt because it sort of adds a flavor, but it also helps to grind down the fibers in the vegetables. Okay, I'm looking for quite a fine paste here. Okay, so this is the kind of texture scenario we're after. And now, as with any stir-fry dish, you wanna get everything done before we even get anywhere near the wok. So I just want an onion and some fairly fine slices. Okay, let's talk about basil. This is one of the key ingredients for this dish. Now, in Thailand, we traditionally use a basil called bai gra bao. Uh, it's also known as holy basil, and you, you can see it has these little sort of ridges on the leaves. It has a really beautiful, almost like minty kind of aroma, and it's a little bit spicy, so it's like a hot basil. It's also known as hot basil as well, so. Mm has a really distinctive flavor. Um, if you can't find this, and I know a lot of you won't be able to, don't worry, you can use Italian basil for this. In fact, Italian basil is probably a better fit for the flavor profile um, than Thai basil even, which is different to this one again. Uh, so there you go guys, just use some Italian basil if you can't get this one. The point, and the main point is, is that we want a lot. So I'm gonna pick off a whole bowl full, almost a whole bunch of these basil leaves into the stir fry. Okay, now the stir fry sauce. And I'm gonna start with some oyster sauce, and I want some regular soy sauce, some fish sauce, and then just to balance out all those salty flavors, I always add a little bit of sugar. It's something my mom has always added to her stir fries and fried rice dishes, so just something that I do as well. But you can leave that out if you would like to. Give that a mix. Okay, we're all set up, ready to go. I've got my rice. Now, I made this rice yesterday. Uh, the key is that you want a really dry rice that's not overcooked so it doesn't go gluggy in the pan. I've actually got a video on how to make rice for fried rice on my YouTube channel if you wanna check it out. Uh, and then I'm using prawns today. You could use chicken, you could use tofu, you could use beef, totally up to you. Now, the wok situation. You guys have asked about my wok so many times so I thought I would explain it all for you. So my wok is a carbon steel wok. It's one of those ones that you have to keep seasoned, so you have to oil it after using, uh, and every time I use it, it develops more and more of this, what's called um, a patina or patina, I'm not sure how you say it, someone will tell me, I'm sure. Um, on the bottom of the pan, that's that black, this black shiny part, uh, and that keeps the wok non-stick and it also helps to create what's called the breath of the wok. It adds like an extra smoky, smoky kind of flavor to whatever I'm cooking. And if you don't have a wok at all, don't worry, a really big frying pan will do you just fine. There's no need to have special equipment just for one dish if you're not cooking a lot of Asian food. Okay, my wok's starting to smoke, so I'm gonna add a little bit of oil and in go my onions. There should always be a very ferocious sizzle whenever you put anything into the wok. Okay, now for the chili and garlic paste that we made. This is the part where you probably wanna open up some windows and not breathe in too much. It's gonna be some coughing that happens. Ooh, smell that chili. <laughs> okay, now my prawns. Now, whenever you're throwing protein into a wok, try to spread the protein out so that more of it can come into contact with that hot wok. Okay, now that my prawns have turned a beautiful pink color and I can see they're almost cooked through, I'm gonna add my rice in. And my stir fry sauce. Okay, just mix that through. And now here's the part where we can see each little grain of rice. It's beautifully separated, nothing too gluggy or sticking together. Okay, now the final important ingredient, the basil. Let's toss that through.
Ah, this is looking and smelling so good. Let me just check for some seasoning. The basil, the chili, the garlic, that combination, stellar. Ah, oh, you guys are gonna love this one. Okay, now just some final optional garnishes, but I wanna show you guys how we would traditionally serve this in Thailand. So, you know, I've been living in Bangkok for a while now and I'm kind of, I'm getting an attachment to decorative vegetables. Call me crazy, I don't know. But if you use one of these little julienne vegetable peelers, you can get the kind of decorative cucumber that you would get at a street side store or a restaurant in Bangkok. So I just shave off the skin. Okay, a couple of slices. See, such a cute shape. Okay, and I want another chili here. This one is purely for decoration. Uh, I can tell you that fried rice is uber spicy. So you do not need another uber spicy chili, just nice, large, mild chili, couple of slices. And I want a slice of lime. And just like you would have if you're in a Thai restaurant in Bangkok, just a couple of stalks of spring onion. And those are your traditional garnishes. Now. I am gonna put my chilies into the bottom of a bowl. This is just a really nice way to serve it up. So I want some prawns in the base of that bowl. I'm gonna pile in my fried rice, smooth that out, and then just tip that onto your plate. Garnishes. There you have it guys, the ultimate spicy fried rice in my opinion. See what you think.